today in the Daily Dose. The Knights Templar During the height of the Crusades, a distressing number of Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land were robbed or murdered as they crossed Muslim-held territories, inspiring French knight Hux de Pans to create a protective order known as the Knights Templar. Initially criticized by conservative religious leaders, that all changed in 1129, when prominent French abbot Bernard of Clairvaux gave his endorsement to the group's legitimacy, followed 10 years later by Pope Innocent II, who issued a papal bull that gave the Templars tax-free status, beholden to no one's authority except the Pope. Over the years following Rome's papal bull, the Knights Templar developed a dominant network of banks that allowed Christian pilgrims to deposit money in their home countries before withdrawing funds in the Holy Land after their safe passage into the Middle East. Known for their signature style of dress, featuring a white habit and a simple red cross, members established austere codes of conduct as outlined in the rules of the Templars, swearing oaths of poverty, chastity, and obedience to Christ. As the order spread throughout Christian Europe, Templars built castles and a large fleet of ships, at one point owning the island of Cyprus, while building one of the largest financial lending empires in Western Europe. Known for their skills as warriors, who were forbidden from retreating in battle unless substantially outnumbered, the Templars often defeated Islamic armies far larger than their own numbers, while their emboldened fighting style soon became a role model of sorts for other military orders. While many believe that the spirit of the Knights Templar lives on in other fraternal orders of today, their downfall came after the fall of Acar in 1291, when Muslim armies retook Jerusalem from Christian crusaders, and when King Philip IV of France resolved to bring down the Templars after the group denied the king additional loans in 1303. Four years later, scores of Templars were arrested in Paris, subjected to brutal torture until many made coerced confessions such as heresy, homosexuality, and devil worshiping, leading to the deaths of dozens of Templars when they were burned at the stake several years later. Pressured by King Philip, Pope Clement V reluctantly dissolved the Templars in 1312, and while the Catholic Church decreed that the Templars' vast monetary wealth be given to a rival order known as the Knights Hospitaller, many academics believe the funds were siphoned off by King Philip and English King Edward II, making the Knights Templar a legendary order that still mystifies historians to this day. And there you have it. The Knights Templar, today in the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.